Hello and welcome to the Movie Clips 2014 Year in Preview, where we don't just talk about movies that excite us, but news stories, potential trailers, all the kind of big movie related things that are going to excite us in 2014. So let's get started. <laughs> Twenty fourteen has some huge movies for the comic book audience. Not necessarily comic book adaptations, but for everybody who loves that kind of stuff. Oh, so we got Transformers, Age of Extinction. Michael Bay brings us the fourth Transformers movie. This time, Shia is out. I think Megan Fox is out, but we got Mark Wahlberg. And we haven't seen that much. We haven't seen a trailer yet for Age of Extinction. We've seen some posters and some stills, but we know it's gonna be amazing. Attached to Michael Bay's name, Ninja Turtles, they're coming yes. back. Yes, this director, I think, is Jonathan Liebsman. Mm -hmm. We still don't know what the Ninja Turtles will look no like. Clue. We know Megan Fox <laughs> does wear a yellow jacket, sort of like the cartoon. I mean, sort of, like, it's not really gonna even be close to that, I bet. Not even a little bit. <laughs> I mean, she's playing April O'Neil. We, we know there's Splinter and Shredder. However, it's a white guy playing Shredder. So I don't know if that's gonna be that good. So <laughs> I'm this interested. one's still on the fence. This one, yeah. it's really, it's really iffy. We, again, we haven't seen the turtles. We know that they're not, from, it's not from Ooze, they're alien turtles, which kind of rubbed a lot of fans the wrong way, but we'll see. I mean, they've been off the big screen in a live action movie almost 20 years. This year we also see Marvel Phase 2 continuing, Captain America Winter Soldier. So yeah, this movie's gonna be awesome because the Winter Soldier is the villain who is actually Bucky Barnes, who fell off a train and then froze in ice in the first movie. And now he comes back, he's been my brainwashed by the Soviets to be an assassin, and it just looks amazing. I thought the trailer was great, the Russo brothers are directing. I think it's gonna be a great movie. Big action blockbuster. We have Edge of Tomorrow, which stars Tom Cruise. Yeah. Now it's cool, this was directed by Doug Liman, who for me is a little hit or miss, but the trailer's cool. Tom Cruise, again, say what you will about the guy. He, he chooses quality entertainment to yeah. be involved in. I think that this could be a really fun kind of big action movie. Yeah. Um, speaking of big action and fun, 22 Jump Street comes yeah, out. Yeah, I year. love the first 21 Jump Street. I think Jonah Hill is so talented to bring, like there were so many great references, like spoiler alert, they bring in Johnny Depp for the first one, mm -hmm. and it's just a great shootout moment. Yeah, and Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, they've had branched out, and they've tried so many different things. Yes, for sure. Um, but I mean, comedy is one of both of their strong suits, so mm -hmm. to see them coming back for the sequel of a very successful film, it's gonna be a good sign. I'm really excited about this one, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Now to me, this has everything going for it. From what we saw in the trailer of this movie, not only have they kind of gotten rid of the original cast, it's this takes place five years later where the yeah. world has kind of been destroyed. That trailer, things got real. You know, when Caesar basically gets them all to rise up together mm -hmm. in unison at the end, you know, it, it's a very chilling moment. For all you subscribers of the auteur theory out there, we have some big name directors with exciting adaptations this mm -hmm. year, not least of which is David Fincher directing Gone Girl. Yeah, you, I, you started to read the book, yeah? I did, I started to read the book and was not a huge fan, but okay. a lot of people were a huge fan of it. And whether, whether the book is good or not, David Finch is attached to it. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, enough. he's an amazing director. He really, he really is. This stars Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike. They released one image from this movie yeah. so far, and it could not look any more like a David Fincher film from one picture. Yeah. Another huge artistic director that is bringing a movie that he's been trying to get made for almost 10 years now to the screen, Darren Aronofsky finally making Noah, or make it, releasing Noah. Yeah. The trailer was a little cookie cutter for me, yeah. but Aronofsky, I mean, every time he does anything on a big scale, like The Fountain, it's pr it's always unique, whether you think like it or not. Um, and the cast, I mean, Russell Crowe, Jennifer Connelly, Emma Watson, Logan, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing lineup of people yeah. involved in this film. So next up we have kids movies, uh, the Lego movie, which has not only Lego Batman, Lego Ninja Turtles, Lego Wonder Woman, Lego uh, Chris Pratt, Lego um, aliens, Lego robots. I mean, for I played people, with Legos. For people lot. waiting to see every franchise put together in one movie. Yeah, yeah. which I guess they could do because Lego has licensed these characters. I think that's how they're allowed to put all of them in. And it has this great stop motion animation look, but I'm pretty sure it was only like half stop motion and half CGI. Yeah, the, the line is still pretty blurry to me too. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah, and, it looks amazing and the trailer was hilarious. Yeah, the trailer was definitely funny. Um, we also have, I'm personally very excited for this film, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Yeah. Um, I've been waiting for this sequel for a long time. I think the first one 
is amazing. It's one of my favorite animated films ever made. Um, and they have the same creative team back and they've had years to work on a script and work out the story. They're making this and a third one. Um, so I personally could not be more excited for yeah, this Yeah, me film too. I love I loved Hiccup as a character. I love the dragons, the toothless and everyone. It's just Vikings and dragons is such a cool animation. And also yeah. to be noted, um, the music in the original How to Train Your oh, Dragon. Michael Powell's was, score is incredible. It's yeah. unbelievable. It was nominated for an Oscar, which is mm -hmm. pretty, like, I mean, for a not Pixar movie, an animated, not Pixar animated movie is, is quite a feat, so that's really cool. We also have Maleficent, which is Disney moving more in their reimagining. Kind of like the Alice in Wonderland live action, and mm -hmm. there was also the, uh, I want to say Swath was the uh, Snow White and the Huntsman mm -hmm. kind of live action, these fairy tales with intense amounts of visual effects and CGI, mm -hmm. um, but also a little bit edgy, and I think the, the trailer definitely shows Angelina Jolie could be kind of like, she could be good or bad. I think the trailer is very like. I'd say she's probably on the fence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with um, some more book adaptations that are coming out. Yeah. We, we have The Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part One. And there's going to be a year apart, unfortunately. I really wish there was like only like two months of difference. People who are fans of these books, you know, they want to see as much detail in these movies as they possibly can. They want to see as complete an adaptation as possible. So yeah. I understand the move. I think it's a smart move. And. Catching Fire was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if there's two Mockingjays, I'm totally for it. Um, another one that's coming out is Divergent. With Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley. Also, Kate Winslet's in it. Yeah. yeah. Which is Great really actresses. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good cast. And also, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the trailer, but I'm a huge fan of the cast. And Neil Berger directed it. He made The Illusionist and Limitless. He's a really talented filmmaker. And speaking about taking one book and then making it into several movies, we'll finally see the end of The Hobbit. With yes. there Peter and Jackson. back again. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought The Desolation of Smog was a step up, actually, for mm -hmm. the series. And it actually ended sooner than I thought it would, which bodes well for there and back again. It means there's even yeah. more action for that. Yeah, it's certain, they keep ending these movies kind of in the middle of scenes. Yeah. Um, really so, <laughs> which could be frustrating considering they put them a year apart. Well, everyone's been talking about 2015 because, mm -hmm. I mean, there's all of these anticipated titles that are coming out then. Um, that affects us in 2014. Things, yeah, yeah, in 2014, we're going to see trailers for Avengers 2. We hope. We hope. Mm -hmm. Or a teaser, or maybe mm -hmm. a poster. Mm -hmm. Same with Batman versus Superman. Maybe Justice League. Jurassic yeah. World. Is yeah, that Jurassic, Jurassic World. World. It, and even if we don't see trailers for these things, there's so many news stories and developments that we can look forward to. For instance, we can finally, s we'll probably get a plot synopsis on Jurassic World or a more of a complete plot synopsis. Mm -hmm. Star eventually, oh, Star, Star Wars, Wars is going to yeah. start shooting, and we're going to be getting nonstop news. flow. Yeah. of news about that. We're gonna find some, news. some characters for Star yeah. Wars. Hopefully, uh, hopefully a plot synopsis as well. Um, a few other things that I'm excited about. Disney got the rights to Indiana Jones, so we're gonna see if they're gonna make a move on that anytime soon. Um, hopefully not with Shia LaBeouf as much. I mean, if they wanna make a move with Harrison Ford, they better hurry up. So 2014 is gonna be pretty cool, guys. Yeah, thank you for watching our year in preview. Check out our five movies that we are the most excited about. Out of all the movies that we that we talked about and thought about in 2014, those are the ones that we're most excited about. So click to watch that and comment below. What are you most excited about in 2014? What do you think Star Wars is gonna be about? Hopefully we find out. Till next time, I'm Ryan. I'm JS. I'm David. Thank you for watching. <laughs>